everyone and welcome to Suburban Stone Age. Happy New Year's. I hope this video finds you and your family safe and well. We are up here at Mini Poi and we just had a big storm come through the desert and I wanted to take a second to show you an important thing we'll be working on this year which is erosion control. It's been three years since we bought the property and the last two have been very dry, so it's been very difficult to find out how water flows across the land. So this winter has been actually pretty wet, thankfully, and this is our first chance to see what it's like after heavy rain and snow up here on our property. You can see how the water is soaking in to the well-draining sandy soil. We have a lot of vegetative cover, which is super important to control erosion. And you can see the water is kind of collecting and slowly working its way down ravines. You can see here there's still a very modest trickle of water, a temporary stream. I, I doubt this will last maybe more than a week. It depends on the weather, but it's definitely not here in the summertime. So noting where this water flows when it is wet will help me determine how it is that I can increase um, pockets of water here on the property. And the ultimate goal is to somewhat make a uh, perched aquifer on, on the property so that we can grow trees and food and shade. <laughs> You can see the water is definitely flowing at a, at a pretty good rate. It's not soaking in here, but this is also bare rock. So it, over the couple years, I've um, been observing this place before we really make any changes to the watershed is kind of noting where there's bare rock and where there's sand so that I can kind of tell where the water will flow away quickly on the bare rock versus where it will slow down and sink in into the sand. This is one of those places where it's flowing on basically bedrock. And we do have very, very shallow soils up here. Um, sometimes they're not existent or maybe a few inches to a foot thick. So soil depth and the water table make a big difference. You can see that the water is flowing over the hard uh, bedrock here and that it kind of moves along and then hits the softer sand where it trickles into the soil. And this little rivulet here is where this juniper bush, which has to be ancient, it's so big, uh, kind of found its little home and has been growing here happily. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing is a few hundred years old because it is massive. So I think it found a good spot where there's uh, the water can make it deep into the ground all year round and it takes advantage of that water source. So we will make sure that we continue uh, to encourage water to make its way down this path so that it has, you know, water for the future too, but also see if we can maybe accumulate uh, a little bit more upstream. And this is where the water finally disappears into the deep uh, alluvial soils and disappears underground. It's still traveling. You can see in the distance there, there's another juniper over this way here. There are some Joshua trees. They don't like to grow where they can't have a perched water table at least for some parts of the year. So I think that's what's happening in these soils right now is that it goes deep underground here at this spot and then there's a lot left over that isn't evaporated away by the heat of the desert during the summer. So this is a good sign. This means that we have water flows to work with. One of the main goals of the property is to like I say develop our own uh, perched aquifer so that we can hopefully encourage trees to grow and shade and kind of make the desert green again. All right, that's enough work for today. Every time I come up here to try to do physical <laughs> labor, everything is much harder. I get out of breath um, a lot more quickly. 
So that's why you just take it slow. So what I'm gonna do is just try these test cuts. They're perpendicular to the flow of water. Then there's that little pool right there. I'll be back in a couple days to just observe how the water behaves. So this is about all I have energy for right now. Uh, that wraps up this video on erosion and just a preliminary poke at establishing um, a water table, the very, very first step to doing that. So we'll catch you next time. Give us a like if you find this information helpful and you're interested in maybe trying this on a piece of land you have or are interested in buying. Subscribe for more adventures and we'll catch you next time. Thanks everyone. Bye.